Hello there. I'm Smitter. This is the build that I have in mind for 3.1. Solar cell found. By the way, of course. Rubbing the nipples. Mmm. Solar cell found. Played solar cell found last league. It was a lot of fun. So I'm gonna do this again. And I have planned a arc character. Which is probably gonna suck. Especially now with the bigger pack size. But I just wanna try playing arc. So we'll see how it goes. If it's just too shitty and I can't manage that, then of course I'll probably re-roll to something else. Um, probably Reeve or something, uh, since I also wanted to try that out. But the Ascendancy that I've gone with it, uh, is the Ascendant, Scion Ascendancy. And I've chosen Elementalist, um, so I could get the Elemental Conflux every time I kill a rare or unique uh, enemy. And then I use Arc, which buffs uh, the shock effect a bit, and then taking a bunch of uh, chance to shock and shock effect notes on the skill tree, and a bunch of life, of course. Also, I have a CI uh, vi variation that I that I put together if I want to go CI at some point. I'll have links to both the um, the bills in the description if you want to check them out. But uh, here it is if you wanted to have an overlook. This is the build that I gone with, so you can see I, I'm. Since I've taken this, so I can start at um, at Shadow. It's it's a lot better starting area than Scion. So and this is it. Go up, get the elemental notes, health, get some more elemental and the shock effects and lightning damage and chance to all this stuff and then some reduced mana and well, just a bunch of life and a bunch of lightning. Then also a dual curse, and the curses that I'm going to be using are Warlord's Mark, and uh, what's the other one called? The Lightning one. Conductivity. Conductivity is what it's called. Link to Herald of Thunder. This is like uh, the builds, and these are what I'm going to be using with Arc, probably. Also, if, if you check out the link uh, or the build via um, Path of Building, then you can see all the different because I also have different ideas because maybe I want to change things up instead of going this route. I'll, you know, mix and match, see whatever works best for me. Shield charge or the whirling blades depending on, well, the weapon um, and if I'm dual wielding or not. Um, so, and also have a, like, a blasphemy setup instead of, um, instead of curse on hit, which will, of course, be better uh, probably as a, against bosses that where I can't proc the Herald of Thunder. Um, so uh, the, the, the um, what are they called? The auras that I'm thinking of, of using are Vitality and Wrath. Vitality also just, uh, well, some life regen, but especially the life regen for my golems. The golems will have insane amount of life, and since I have Elementalist, I can have two. And since more or the minion life gem has been uh, buffed a lot to have more now and then have some uh, regen on, on the golems as well then they're probably gonna be really really tanky and you won't have to cast them that often so I'm thinking I'm, I want to have two rings maybe you know for the um, for my two um, auras and then have some um, reduced uh, mana reservation on the tree so I can use two uh, fifty percent ones. Might even throw clarity in there. We'll see. Um, and then uh, you know, for specific bosses, I can suck it in uh, purity of ice, fire, or lightning, depending on the situation. Uh, like for if I ever get to shaper um, or uh, one of the four bosses or whatever the the new bosses are gonna their their main damage is gonna be. Um, so the golems, um, they'll either be, um, depending on if I have two four links available, then uh, they'll also get fortify. If not, then they'll just have uh, minion life and and uh, resist. Of course, they'll be more tangy if you can give them fortify as well, but that that requires two four sagas. We'll, we'll see how it, how it pans out. So right now I ha have it actually, so both of them have the fortify as well. So they're gonna be really, really tanky with this setup. Um, 
So I don't think I also have like a version where um where Herald of Thunder is uh, where I buff that quite a bit with you know uh, some added lightning damage, lightning penetration, and area of effect. So you hit people who are further away, so you don't have to get too close to them. Um, and then of course then I'm then gonna be using uh, blasphemy instead if I were going to use this. So that's this and blasphemy. Um, but this this is just backups, and you can mix and match the the not like the gray ones are the ones that I'm like maybe uh, gonna use instead. But these are like um, the things that I wanna go with at first, like first instinct. Um, then just all these uh, chance to um, chance to shock. Um, and then the shock effect bonus as well, and shock duration. Just trying to shock things and kill them with the arc. That's pretty much the build. Uh, we can just go over quickly the uh, CI version as well. It looks like this. Um, also starting at this shadow area, uh, and then you know getting CI of course and Ghost Reaver of course of the notables and. I don't know why Avatar Fire was chosen. That's a mistake. Should not be chosen. What the hell. Um, so it looks like this, and of course uh, I'm sold cell phone. I don't know if I find some good jewels, and yeah, maybe I'll craft some. But you know, of course I'm gonna be craft taking the jewel sockets um, if I do get some good jewels. So yeah, there are links in the description if you want to check them out. I'll be streaming on Twitch, um, maybe tonight. Um, it comes out pretty late tonight. I maybe stream a bit, but I'll definitely um, be streaming tomorrow. Is the plan if I'm feeling well and all that. So yeah, come hang out if you want, and uh, I hope uh, I hope you are as excited to be playing a uh, 3.1 as I am. And uh, well, see you later, and have a good one. Bye.